For links to events that are happening across the state, find us and like us on Facebook, where we'll keep you up to date on fiber festivals and shows all season long. First up is a trip to Pam Kinneman's Wee Sheep Shetland Farm north of Bloomfield for Rewing Day. Out in the countryside, you can hear the chirping of birds, the buzzing of bees, and... Once a year, Pam Kinneman, owner of the Wee Sheep Shetland Farm, welcomes the public to go step by step through the process of rewing. Uh, it's our rewing day and we have Shetland sheep and the Shetland sheep are really perfect for rewing. What happens is the fleece comes off the sheep, you just basically pluck it off and um, harvest it that way instead of shearing. The word up. <laughs> I found out about it uh, by reading about Shetland, you know, the sheep and everything, and um, so decided that, um, you know, I'd like to see if mine could be rude. You want to rue a sheep? Now I'm having everybody check this out. These are some pictures of people in the Shetland Islands rewing back in the 1930s. The benefit to rewing is um, not just the history of that this is the way it's been done for so many years in the Shetland Islands, but also it's uh, nicer to the sheep, I think. You know, they don't have to worry about getting nicked and being put upside down, you know, and having the shears. Basically, it's kind of rough on the sheep when they're shorn. So this is a lot nicer for the sheep. Oh. <laughs> you have to catch them. And then we put them on a harness. How about we go right over here? But then they can pull off the fiber and put it in a bag. Here's her bag whenever you're ready. Pam was doing a demonstration of uh, spinning out at the History Museum. And I was out talking to her then and she said, oh hey, we're doing this ruining thing. And yeah, you know, she told me all about it and that sounded really, really neat. So I thought Mimi would love to try to do it and so I brought her out and we were making a day of it. To get closer to animals, it's kind of neat. You know, she interact with animals at this age, she's not going to be afraid of them later. Yeah, he's going good. Once all the fleece is off, it's spun into yarn or sold to spinners who will spin it themselves. We do have a shop that people can visit if they'd like and we have the the sheep's name on it and the year so that I will know in the future how long if I haven't sold this fleece or I haven't spun it myself. I am I'm living my dream. You know, we have 18 sheep. We have two alpacas and one angora goat. There are more and more Shetland people in Indiana that I know of. So I think it's going to get more and more popular. Find out more about the Wee Sheep Shetland Farm and plan a visit to Pam's It's All About Fiber Shop by visiting WeSheepFarm.com.